Following their escape from King's Landing, Varus and Tyrion arrive at the manse of Illyrio Mopades in Pentos. It is here that Varys reveals his true allegiance to House Targaryen and how he hopes that restoring Daenerys Targaryen to the Iron Throne will save Westeros from itself. However, Tyrion, miserable from his escape experience, is mainly interested in drinking himself to death. Later, the two meet again, and Tyrion asks why he set him free. Varys simply states that Jaime asked him to and it would have been dangerous to say no to the Kingslayer. Tyrion still wonders why Varys risked so much in order to free him. Varys once again states that he did it for the Seven Kingdoms. Tyrion believes that the Seven Kingdoms is a lost cause at this point, as the powerful will always prey on the powerless. Varys believes that they have grown so accustomed to horrors that they know nothing else, but believes that restoring Daenerys Targaryen to the throne is the only way to end such horror. Reluctantly, Tyrion finally agrees to travel to Marine in order to meet the Mother of Dragons, agreeing that if he is to drink himself to death, he may as well do it whilst productive. Tyrion and Varys depart Pentos in a large carriage. Tyrion remains despondent, and as he promised, he is continuing to drink himself into a stupor. Varys explains that they are traveling to Marine by way of Volantis. Varys points out that Tyrion was an effective ruler when he was acting Hand of the King and that each of them were outsiders due to their deformities, a eunuch and a dwarf. They enjoyed accumulating power, he says, but they also wall themselves off from other people, like hiding inside of a large carriage as they are now. Deep down they were never satisfied being separate from society. Tyrion is unmoved from his depression, and continues to insist that he's tired of being confined in a box of some sort. Varys, however, again warns him that he must remain hidden as it is unsafe to be seen publicly because Cersei has promised a lordship to any man who brings her his head. Tyrion scoffs and rhetorically asks if Cersei is going to kill every dwarf in the world in the hope of eventually catching him. On the outskirts of Volantis, Tyrion finally forces Varys to let him out for a walk. The pair explore the slave markets and brothels of Volantis, observing the sermon of a red priestess before finally settling on a brothel. Although Varys is able to keep an eye on Tyrion for much of their excursion, he eventually loses track of him, and Tyrion is kidnapped by Jorah Mormont. When he finally reaches Marine, Tyrion tells Daenerys of Varys's loyalty to House Targaryen. Daenerys remains skeptical, having been told of how Varys was responsible for sending the assassins against her on Robert's orders. Tyrion counters that Varys had to do that to survive and that he may have even been responsible for saving her life when she was still a baby. It's not clear if her opinion of Varys has changed, but she accepts Tyrion into her service. After the harpy ambush at Daznak's pit and Daenerys' flight on Drogon, Varys surprises Tyrion by nonchalantly walking up to him on the walls of Marine. He teases Tyrion about abandoning him in Volantis, but fortunately, his little birds, who sing in the east as well as the west, told him about Tyrion arriving in Marine and finding favor with Daenerys. With Marine on the brink of civil war, Varys reminds Tyrion that he is the only person in Marine with experience in governing a city where everyone wants to kill each other. Tyrion smiles and tells Varys that he needs him and his spies if Daenerys' reign over Marine is to survive. He admits that he missed Varys's presence in council, to which Varys cheerfully replies, Oh, I know. <laughs>